how many of us use LinkedIn? Here, raise your hand. Thank you. Unfortunately, I know. Yes. How many of you saw this event from LinkedIn on LinkedIn? Okay, not that many. Okay, fine. <laughs> so uh, a week ago, Matt was like, James, I need to announce this event on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is bad. How do I write something that lands well with my LinkedIn audience? I have no idea what word will hit. I have no idea what kind of um, phrasing would attract people, would make people engage and make their friends engage and their friends engage. I was like, well, Matt, what if, what if we have a simulation of, of your LinkedIn? And then you can see if a post will land well. If it doesn't, tweak it and until it lands the best. So, so that's what we built. We simulated Matt's LinkedIn. Welcome to Artificial Societies. This is Matt's Artificial Society. You can see him in the middle, smart grinning, like over here. Every single dot here is a human. Every single dot here is a person that engages with Matt on LinkedIn. So they are represented by different AI personas. We take their behavior on LinkedIn, what they write, what they like, what they comment on, and we turn them into little AI personas that represent how they will behave, how they will react to information if they see something on LinkedIn. You can see some lines between these dots. These lines are how people engage with each other and how they are connected with each other. This is really important because when Matt writes a post, that post is going to travel if people actually engages with it. That post is only going to travel, that information is going to spread if there is a lot of people talking about it and that spreads on to their network. That is how information spread on social media. This is how a society look like. A society is a richly connected map of dots. They are not, we are not isolated individuals as humans. We are social animals. So what happens if, let's say we go to Matt's LinkedIn and we take a post. So hopefully Matt will, will have drafted this inside, this inside the simulation. So let's just hit simulate. What is happening now is that we literally simulate how every single persona will see this piece of content on LinkedIn. They can choose to ignore it. They can choose to like it. We observe their behavior. And if they react to it, it spreads on to their network and their network. We can see who has been reacting and be able to understand how that post has been able to spread. Because this is a simulation, we can do something crazy like this here which might be quite small. We can create a hundred variant of the same post and run a hundred parallel experiments all in this simulation and pick out which are the variants that land the best in the simulation. When we compared our prediction, actually, let's see that. So this is predicted to have 47 reactions. Ah, 63, okay. Reality, oh, okay, well, reality is still within the upper bound ex, um, estimate of the simulation here. And this is another magic. Because it's a simulation, you get to run it hundreds of times and see what is the distribution of potential outcomes of any given action. So we can, and because of that, we are able to make this prediction at a correlation between prediction and reality at 83%, 0.83. If you ask ChatGPT to make the same prediction, give it a piece of content, ask it how many reaction would this post get? ChatGPT's prediction is only going to correlate with reality at 0.17 or 17%. So we're at 83%. And then we can see that this way, Matt is able to create different variants of the same LinkedIn post based on the things that actually lands well with this audience. 
Now, obviously, this is quite an overkill to do LinkedIn. <laughs> it's like we built a space laser and we use it to kill a chicken. So another thing that we did was that we simulated a bunch of investors. And this, every single dot here is a real VC. And then how they are connected with each other. You can sort of see how, <laughs> how we have been using this simulation to test how we should write our YC application and how we should be pitching our startup to investors at a fundraise. We have just done YC, so I guess it worked. <laughs> of course, the next step, what we are hearing from a lot of, our, a lot of people around us is, can you simulate my target customers? So we did something quite fun, which is that we simulated the W25 YC batch. This, these are all our batch mates. I think I can find, uh, there's my co-founder, Patrick. That's me over there. So the dots are individual YC founders. And we can use this to test how, say, what kind of um, coding tool might go viral amongst the YC W25 founders and tweak it until you get it right. We actually showed this to Anthropic and then they tested how do they sell Anthropic credits to a bunch of YC W25 founders. <laughs> that was quite fun. So that is artificial societies. You can find out, you can use this product right now and put in your LinkedIn URL and get a simulation of your LinkedIn, get your bespoke simulation at societies.io. And that's it. Thank you very much. It's time for questions, so let's start. Yes. Thank you for the demo. That was really cool. Thank you. So I want to ask, it seems that you can test a lot of very open-ended things from LinkedIn models to apps. So what is the accuracy on these various things that you are testing with the uh, artificial societies? So we started with social media and LinkedIn because it's a really easy way to get a lot of eval data. We can make a prediction and two hours later or two days later, we get a prediction outcome. We haven't tested a lot about say uh, marketing or say, let's say if we simulate a policy, then it might would be years later until we know if the simulation is accurate. So that's why we start with social media so that we can show this. And you know, um, five, 6,000 people have been using this product over the last months and people have been getting a lot of interesting LinkedIn uh, engagements. So we have some, this is how we collect the data to see if it's working and improve the simulation. It's kind of like reinforcement learning with societal feedback, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, hope that answers your question. So yeah. one percent of your typical followers on LinkedIn are actually commenting, hosting. So how do you ensure the accuracy in general because 99 percent people are not really liking or commenting yeah so the network that we saw just now that's matt's audience people who actually engages with matt's post so they're not matt's followers these are the people that matters in terms of spreading matt's words so can i just double check these are actively engaged People in your network, not your entire network. Not your entire network. These are the people that actually matters when it comes to who will spread your words, who will react to, you, to your post. We see they in, engaging with your post. Yes. Yeah. All right, we've got time for one more. So are you going to go to X and Blue Sky or just LinkedIn? X coming soon. Blue Sky? Wow. Product? <laughs> Product gave some stuff. <laughs> so, cool. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.